Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. It is I, S.L. Rockfish, your happy hostess. So glad you could join me today. Today we're going to do a little bit of reading and we're going to do a little bit of Totally American and we're going to increase our flu fluency and have some fun. So if you like what you see, hit subscribe. If you just want to check it out, stay around for a while. See the question, are you ready for some football? Don't click away. You might be ready for some football. I'm talking American football, but with American sayings that go with football that are you also hear in the English language throughout the movies, television, or when you talk to Americans. See? Come back. Now, like I say, today we're going to increase our fluency with reading because you know I love to read and I love the Green Bay Packers, but I love the sport they play, football, American football. You know, with the little, you know, football. Everyone else plays soccer. Well, they call it football. We call it soccer. So it gets confusing. But I'm talking about this kind of football. Okay? Let's begin. And maybe I'll make myself clear. Good Night Football by Michael Dow, illustrated by Christina Forche. Now, if you want to practice English there's a famous book, Good Night Moon. Then it has a lot of good night books that go with it. Good Night Cape Cod, Good Night Monsters, Good Night Football. That's what we're going to read today. Like I say, the rest of the world has a different meaning for football. We in America call this football. And what the rest of the world plays with the round ball and the black and white, we call that soccer. You know, goal! Everyone else calls it football. We call it soccer. But for this, we're going to talk about American football. And we're going to say good night, football. There are a lot of words in here that are totally American and have totally different meanings. And you might learn how to enjoy the game of football just a little bit more. You know, American football with the world's greatest team. Right here is a football field. It is 100 yards. These are called the end zones. You have to run in here to score. And the other team has to run over here to score. Got it? All right. Sports Illustrated for Kids presents Good Night Football. Look at that beautiful stadium. It's the end of the week. It's the best of all nights. Beneath the sky lies a field of bright lights. When you hear someone say under the bright lights, that means they're playing on a stage or on a field. And if it happens to be football, it's they're playing at night. And the bleachers are full for a very good reason. The big games tonight, it is football season. Yay, football! The big band plays and the cheerleaders shout and everyone cheers as the teams run out. See, they run out of the tunnel onto the field. And they have to score before time runs out. Run out. A phrasal verb that can be confusing. But for this one, they're coming out of the field. The fans are excited. It's time for some fun. Then a whistle blows. Oh, then a whistle. The kickoff. The game has begun. The kickoff is where this player, see that, kicks the ball. Doo -doo -doo -doo, and it sets the game off. It's called a kickoff. He just kicks it to the other team. It doesn't really go off anywhere. It goes to the other team. On third and one, the ball is snapped. Not this kind of snapped. Not this kind of snap. It's passed, uh, snapped from here to the quarterback. That's what we call a snap. Snap the ball. But the defense breaks through and the quarterback's sacked. Now, in many countries, the word sacked means they get fired. They lose their job. No, no, no. Not here. Sacked means he gets pushed to the ground, okay, and he can't get up. The play is over. He got sacked. He got knocked down and onto the ground. See? Multiple meaning words. English is wacky. He shakes it off and gets up. The crowd yells, hooray! Now, there's really nothing on him because the players have got him. He just shakes off the stun. Okay? And then the team huddles up and discusses a play. This, my friends, is a huddle. When you gather around 
and you huddle and you talk about things. We're going to come here. Come in for a huddle. A huddle. The quarterback drops back and lets the ball go. It sails through the air. Oh, what a throw! I like that. Sails through the air. He let it fly. A receiver breaks loose and stands all alone. Reaches up, grabs the ball. He's in the end zone. He scored. This is the end zone. Breaks loose means he got away from these guys. Another phrasal verb, breaks loose. Oh, so much learning. The team trade possessions up and down rolls the score. So when they get the ball, that's their possession. When the other team gets the ball, that's their possession. Then a long run wins the game. Hear the crowd roar. The crowd doesn't really go roar. But when everyone's cheering, it makes a roar. Yeah, can you feel it? Visualization, my friends. What a game, what a night. Good night, players. You fought a good fight. Good night, coaches, as they shake hands. Good night, cheerleaders. Good night, band. A lot of good night. Good night, bleachers. Good night, fans. Not this kind of fan. You know, people who like to watch the game. Good night, fans. Good night, field. And concession stands. Concession stands where you can buy food. Not to concede like I give up. Concession stands where you can buy snacks. We in America love our snacks. Good night, mascot. We'll come back soon. Good night, goalposts. These are the goalposts. Good night, moon. Good night, helmet and my favorite teams. Good night, football. Good night and sweet dreams. <gasps> Yay! Ta-da! To Danny Thomas, I love a dedication. So there you go. We learned some new words. Sacked means knocked to the ground, not fired. Run out onto the field means they're coming out onto the field. If you run out of time means there's no more time. Hmm. Roar of the crowd. They don't really roar. They just cheer. Yay! Under the bright lights means you're under, you're playing the stage. You're playing at night if it's football. And let's talk about football. In America, the United States, this is football. The rest of the world, that round ball with the black and white, goal! That's football. Why is it so confusing? I don't know, but I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Please leave me a comment or questions down below. Peace, friends.